Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn some new topic like how to populate data using PHP server side code and convert into JSON format and display on Google line chart. Google has rich chart library and by using this Google chart API we can make area chart, line chart, pitch chart, column chart and many more. Here we will JSON data type from make chart and here we will make line chart from that JSON data. Chart is mainly used for display data visualization, it is a short description of data. From chart we can get the idea of current position. So here we have used example of sensors temperature data which stored in my SQL table and by using PHP server side code we will fetch data and convert into JSON data table and after this we will use Google line chart for display that in line chart format. Now let's start discussing this topic. This is our testing database and in this we have one table like sensors data with four table column like sensors data id, sensors temperature data, sensors data date and sensors data time. In this table we have already inserted sensors temperature data with date and time into this table. We will fetch data from this table and convert into JSON format after this that data we will display on Google line chart. This is our index.php page and on this page we have loads query library and Google chart library API. By using this API library we can access Google chart library and make line chart. Now we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to line chart with attribute style is equal to width 100% and height 500 pixel. We will display line chart under this tag. First we want fetch data from sensors data table, so we have make database connection by write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function for argument like host name set to local host, user name set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After make database connection now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select sensors temperature data column comma unix timestamp function and under this function we have write concatenate function and under this function we have write sensors data date column and sensors data time column is data time from sensors data table order by sensors date date column and sensors data time column in descending order. Here concatenate function will combine this two column like sensors data date and sensors data time data into one column like date time and by using unix timestamp we have convert this date time value into unix timestamp in seconds. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. After this we have defined one dollar rows variable is equal to array. In this variable we will store sensors temperature data in array format. Below this we have again defined one dollar table variable is equal to array, in this variable we will store all columns and rows data in array format. Now we have write dollar table calls index here we can define label for line chart and these represent the column titles, so here we can define chart label with data type. In this first we have defined first array with key label with value date time and in type key we have defined value date time. In this column we will display temperature date time data. In second array we have write label key with value temperature and in type key we have defined number as value. In this column we will define temperature data in number format. This ways we have defined chart column in this dollar table calls index. Now we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have use while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert result data into array and store into dollar row variable. 
Under this loop we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to array, in this variable we will store temporary dollar row data. Then after we have write dollar date time variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write dot and in second argument we have write dollar date time table column. Here this function will make array of this because unix timestamp function returns seconds with 30 after dot. So we have use explode function for get seconds in number. Now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to array with v key with value date javascript object and under this we have write dollar date time variable with zero index and we have append three extra zero for to make it millisecond value. Here we have write v key, in which we can write cell value like date and time and for display date and time have used javascript date object and google line chart. Because for generate chart we want to write code in JavaScript so we have used date object for display date time value. Then after we have again write dollar sub array variable is equal to array v key with value dollar row sensors temperature data table column. Here in temperature cell we have display this dollar row sensors temperature data column data. This way we have stored temperature data with date and time in dollar sub array variable. So now we have write dollar rows array variable is equal to array C key with value dollar sub array. So here C key make one row with two cell value like date and time and temperature data and store in this dollar rows array variable. This way it continuously makes cell and after this row and store into dollar rows array variable. Now we have write dollar table variable with rows index is equal to dollar rows variable in which we have stored data like date time and temperature and this all data we have store here dollar table rows index. Here this rows property holds an array of row objects. This ways we have store all columns and rows data in dollar table variable now we want convert into JSON format. So we have write dollar JSON table variable is equal to JSON encode function with dollar table variable as argument. This function will convert array data into JSON format and store into this dollar JSON table variable. Now we have moved to write JavaScript code for make line chart from this JSON data. So here first we have write google.charts.load method and under this method and first argument we have write current and second argument we have write array with key package with value core chart. This code will load the Google chart visualization API with line chart packages for use to make line chart. Then after we have again write google.charts.set on load callback method and under this method we have write draw chart function. We will make this function for draw line chart. This code will set a callback to run when Google chart visualization API has been loaded on web page and this it will call this draw chart function. Now we have defined this draw chart function. So we have write function with name draw chart. This function will display JSON data on Google line chart. Under this function we have write data variable is equal to new Google dot visualization dot data table method and under this method we have write dollar JSON table variable in which we have store temperature data in JSON format. This code will create data table from our JSON data get from this dollar JSON table variable in which we have store temperature data. Then after we have write variable options, in this variable we can set the property of chart, under this first we have write title property set to sensors data. Here we have defined this line chart title. After this we have write legend property and under this we have write position set to bottom, that means it display label at bottom of chart, suppose here we have write write then it will display label at right side of chart. Below this property we have write chart area property under this property we have write width set to 95% and height set to 65%. In this property we can set height and width of chart area.
after property of chart. Now we have write variable char is equal to new Google dot visualization dot line chart method because we want to make line charts so we have write line chart method and under this method we have write document dot get element by it method and under this method we have write line chart which is an it of division tag which we have defined at the start of this video. In this code we have defined which chart library we want to use and where we want to load that chart. So here we have used line chart and we have defined this division tag id line chart where we want to display chart and this all data we have stored in chart variable. Lastly we have write chart variable dot draw function with two argument like data variable and options variable. This code will instantiate and draw our line as per JSON value we have passed in data table method. So here our code is ready so we have this code on check output in browser. Hello friends when page has been loaded into browser, then we can see our temperature data has been visualized in line chart. Here we have fetch our MySQL table data by using PHP script and then after we have convert that data into JSON format and load that data under Google chart library data table method and now we can see that data in line chart format. For this data we can easily understand how temperature go up and down at which date and time, so this is our short description of our large data. So by using this Google line chart we can visualize our data on web page in chart format and here we have used PHP script for fetch data and convert into JSON format for make line chart by using Google chart API. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.